What's up, guys? Welcome to VHB Engines. All right, uh, today is going to be a, just a little quick run. I actually only came to the shop today because uh, I needed to pick up a head for somebody. Uh, somebody's going to buy early as fuck in the morning. So, but I've been trying to get here all week and you couldn't convince myself. And now that I'm here to pick up that, I decided to do some, you know, small work to make up for not having anything done for last weekend. I had actually originally planned to start doing the B16 build, but I yeah, didn't feel like taking off some shit that needed to be taken off, and the GSR block was already bare, so I just I grabbed the GSR and put it on the stand. All right, so far I've just cleaned it, uh, haven't painted yet, and I, I honed it. And after I honed it, I, I, I could really see the impact that the, that the broken valves made. Um... It's pretty good sized scratches, but uh, I'm gonna maverick this shit and just I'll show you first. Pretty sure you can see those. Uh, yeah, pretty good sized scratches there. That's not a scratch. That's a that's a gouge. Those are gouges. And a little bit on this side too. Can't see because it's too fucking dark. Anyway, some good, good sized fucking gouges up in there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this piece of 400 grit here and I'm gonna go over it real light just to deburr it. Take the hard edges off the gouges so it doesn't catch up on my rings and then I'm gonna fucking rehone it one more time and I'm gonna go all crazy with it. Anyway, this, uh, this block's for my Integra and I don't mind doing crazy shit like this. Honestly, it's not that crazy. I, I seriously doubt it's going to cause any fucking problem. Uh, just wanted to sh I was about ready to get to the sand and before taking the video and decided that this would be a good time to step in and start recording. And right, I'm going to cut it back on after I done did what I was going to do. Okay, back again. Uh, I know it probably doesn't look like it, but the honing or... A little sand over, plus the honing it did take most of the hard edge off, and hopefully that'll reduce the impact enough on the rings where I don't fucking break one. Right, I guess one day we're gonna find out. Anyway, like I said already, I'm I'm fairly confident that this is gonna hold up. This isn't one of those times where I can say I've done it before, but you know, fuck it. In the end of the day. Worst thing I could think of happen and I break a ring and start smoking and then I just tear it down, transfer everything over to a different block. No big deal. Alright. Well, I guess this is going to be my stopping point for today. I didn't really plan on doing much and I think for a not doing too much kind of day, I got quite a bit done. Uh, I thought I'd take a second right quick. I show y'all if anybody's interested what exact paint I use dupa color engine enamel the shit is good it works it holds up it's um been on cars that drove for a long time and paint didn't chip worst thing you have to worry about is like oil or whatever grind building up on it uh the specific code is a 1615 aluminum uh, I used to use a darker color the cast aluminum Cast aluminum, in my opinion, looks a little bit closer to like what it would be stock. But I actually didn't get the cast aluminum on purpose. It was an accident. This is the one I was going for. And because the cans are kind of close in color, they're really kind of close in tone, that I mixed it up. Anyway, uh, I did eventually start going back to the lighter tone, which is what I originally wanted anyway. Uh, both, both are completely fine. All right. Anyway, uh... I'm gonna wrap up for the day here. Uh, I want to address two things real quick tonight before I finish. One being uh, overall camera quality. Yeah, I know it. It's kind of shit. And uh, video upload dates or days, which day of the week. Um, generally speaking, anytime I shoot something, I'm gonna edit and post online. Uh, it's been kind of difficult keeping uh, keeping. Uh, Keep it busy every weekend recently because of the stupid, insane amount of overtime I was working, and 
working, uh, only having one free day, and that one free day I was spending doing running errands. Um, but anyway, so I work on here on the weekends. So if I come Saturday night, I'll make a video and post it, and it'll be up late Saturday night going into Sunday morning. Um, but generally speaking, whatever goes down during the weekend, if you haven't seen anything pop, uh, pop up, it's for sure going to be there Monday morning when you get up. It'll be there for those of you that are watching and are, you know, looking for new ones to come up. Uh, as far as video quality, uh, I am, let's see, you can see a reflection, I'm working off of a, a cell phone still. Uh, the channel is steady growing. Um, so I, I'm definitely going to stick with this. I mean, regardless, I'm going to stick with it because this is a good way to show people behind my engines, you know, that it is actually me behind it and what I'm doing, or for the most part. So I am going to start hunting for a camera. I'm very fucking camera retarded. I don't, I don't know what the fuck to get. I'm going to get one of those little fucking camcorder things that I can hold, and maybe that'll be able to better stabilize because I did go back and I watched some of my early videos, and I know that... They were bobbing and weaving like all over the place. It's, Cause it's hard as fuck to try and keep steady with a fucking phone while trying to drag shit around. So I am conscientious of that. And for those of you that do watch the video start to finish, I greatly appreciate that and the fact that you're sticking through and coming back. Um, also, uh, utilize the Facebook page that I post the guys. It's there. I update it frequently. Anytime I order parts or whatever, or I have any plans for the weekend, it's going to be there, so uh, I don't think I'm going to do any midweek videos right now, I'll just use the Facebook page, so if you haven't seen any content recently or whatever, you can see what I'm saving up for, or I mean like what I'm stacking parts for and what's going to be coming up, yeah, um, um, I think that's pretty much going to wrap it up for the day, uh, I'm, I'm having more more viewers hit me up through Facebook. You know, if you want to talk to me personally, continue to do that. That's fine. I'm going to be there for you guys for any questions you have. And uh, if for you non-subscribers, I know that there's a, there's a good amount of you guys that are watching that aren't subscribed. That's completely fine, whatever. Subscribers aren't everything. But uh, if you could give the video a, a thumbs up, if you do manage to watch it start to finish, I'd, I'd greatly appreciate that. That way... I can differentiate between who clicked and watched two minutes and, and who stuck around for the end. All right, uh, big weekend coming up, guys. I got a lot of shit to do. I'm going to be finishing this. I have got the head gasket today, or my wife picked it up for me today. So I'm going to put the head gasket on here and finish this block, and it'll be up for resale again at a new price. And this is not going to be finished right away. I got to buy... Uh, head gasket and, and then probably new gaskets all around for this and I'm debating on buying a new oil pump so uh, this might be on the stand for a while but regardless part two for this build will be coming out this weekend and um, I might even <coughs> excuse me if I have time and uh, get this swap arrangement finalized and together so that way I can get ready to start waiting for a car um, I picked up another K20 A3 over the weekend and I got some A2 pistons and rods. And uh, I have like a Z something. I think the 05, the 05 fucking RSX crank, which is for these. I have one. But the journal is a little bit damaged. I think it's like a hundred thousandths of an inch over. So what I'm thinking about doing is I might do like a suicide block build. Where I use that K20 A3 block with that slightly damaged crank and do fucking stock boost and see what that gets me and then uh, I'm going to be looking for uh, another set of A2 pistons to do like a high compression A3 for that build way over there yonder that you probably can't see because it's too dark anyway uh, once again guys uh, follow the Facebook page so that way you can see what's coming during the week if you're interested and and if you're a local local guy, that way you can see what's coming up. If you do follow the page, like you give it a give it a like and, and, and message me through the page, I will give you discounts for whatever you buy off me. All right. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Peace.